Hey guys, welcome back to ProductionCrate.com. As usual, I am Adrian Jensen, and last week I promised you that I would make a tutorial on how to do the flash running effect from the TV show. If you didn't catch it last week, we did the effect of the flash running from the 2017 Justice League movie, so if you want to, go ahead and check that out. This one's going to be really simple. Uh, kind of like last week, I have my footage and my clean plate. But this time it's not rotoscoped because it's not really necessary. So I'm just going to head over to footagecreate.com and we have these new flash lightning effects. ones that work for our shot. So we're going to want to use this static one for like the flash charging up. And we need to pick an exit lightning effect that's going to match the perspective of our footage. So he's kind of looking forward and off to the side. So the one that we're going to want to use is this one here. Let's download that. And I'm going to just bring both of those into my comp. For this first one, I want the power to start charging up after he touches the ground, kind of like in the previous tutorial. So I'll start this here. And it looks like we could benefit from some tracking, but we don't have to track the whole thing. We only need to track from this frame and over. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me open up my tracker window and I'll just click track motion. It's just gonna be a single point position track. I think I'll select this piece of rubble here as my track point. This should go by really quickly. Let's add a new null object as well. And hit edit target in our tracker window and select that new null object and click apply. Saying yes, we want to apply the X and the Y. And now we have that null attracted to our scene and we can just parent the static to the null object. And the static clip here, the way it's shaped is it's supposed to be kind of in the silhouette of a person that's standing up, but our person isn't standing up. So we're going to have to kind of shape it to his body a little bit. So that's going to be easy. We'll just give it a twist, maybe scale it down. And we can actually duplicate it and use it a couple more times to make sure the entirety of the actor's body is covered. Okay, and I'll just shift those in time a little bit so they're not all exactly the same. And now we have our static charging up. Next, uh, we just need him to kind of shoot off in this direction. So I'm going to actually, on the last frame of this footage before it cuts to the clean plate, I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate that. I'll bring it up to the top and right click on the layer and hit Time Freeze Frame. And then I'm just going to mask around the actor. Just for one frame, we're not rotoscoping, we're just chopping him out of the footage. Okay, I've got him all chopped out. So now I'm just gonna move this layer to start when our footage actually ends. So now we have the cutout version on top of the clean plate. And now to kind of guide where we move him and how fast, I'm going to add in the lightning first. So let's just drop that lightning right into the composition. And I'll probably change the scale of it make that a little bit bigger make sure that's in a place that makes sense I wish my life was in a place where it made sense and now we can take our layer that we chopped up and I'm just gonna make that a 3d layer and set a keyframe for the position then I'll move forward until the lightning is off frame which is only gonna take us two frames it looks like and then I'll just change the Z position to bring it forward by however much I feel like it should be and then use the X to just move it off frame. And then we need to turn on the motion blur for that layer and for the comp. And finally, I'm just gonna highlight all of the lightning layers that we put in. 
and give them a screen transfer mode. There we go. The next shot is equally straightforward. I have this green screen footage of the actor running in place and also this stock footage of, I guess, it's a, a camera attached to a car mount and just driving down the street. We have this sped up a little bit. And on the footage, we need to do a garbage mat, which means we just cut out everything around the green screen so it's not going to get in the way. And then we're just going to key it out, which is really easy. We're going to use key light, just select that green. And if we head over to the screen mat, we can see how our mat is looking. It's actually not too bad, but we can play with the screen gain and the screen balance a little bit just to get it more, a little more closer to perfect. And then also I'll just drop a curves effect onto it to bring it a little more into the same color space that the rest of the footage is. And then on footage crate, if we go back into that magic and power section with all this lightning, you can see we have these ones that are the constant lightning at screen. We have one from very far away and one from very close up. And if I can find it, we have this kind of middle ground one. And that's the one we're going to use for this. Let's go ahead and download that. And we can just bring that in, drop it over our keyed footage. And I'm going to scale it up a little bit so that it looks more like it is coming off of his body. And uh, for the final trick, I'm going to parent the lightning layer to the footage. It needs to be on a screen transfer mode as well. And on the footage, I'm just going to hit P on the keyboard to bring up the position property. And I'm going to hold down Alt and click the stopwatch and just add a wiggle expression, something like wiggle 10 comma 50. And that means 10 times a second, it'll move in any direction. Um, about 50 pixels and that's just gonna make it more like he's running for real and not running in place and it really is that simple so that's the effect done I hope you guys stay happy and healthy and we'll see you next time remember to wear your seatbelts